ropa, cuerpo, lengua, todo hecho de chocolate fino, derritiendo mi lengua. Dame, dame, dame. Ay, señor, mírame, te voy a comer. No me mires así, te como. Un, dos y tres, te como. Mi boca llena de ti. Ay, es el mejor chocolate que te comí. Uno, dos, tres, mm. sueños dulces, llenos de promesas, cuando no estoy a tu lado, y como no, pero en dieta nadie te toca, pretende que yogur con nueces eres tú, no hay nada como tú, para el desayuno, chocolate. Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the Dante800.com YouTube channel. January 15, 2008 is the birth date of the much-anticipated, members-only, summoning skill. The Dante800.com team thought this would be the perfect opportunity to introduce a new member of the team, me, the voice of RuneScape. I'll be bringing you narrated tips, tricks, and skill guides. Spend less time stumbling around trying to figure things out, and more time making money with your skills, and having a good time instead. To begin summoning, you'll first need to complete the Wolf Whistle quest. Start by speaking to Pickup Sticks, a druid pacing around his home in the eastern section of Taverly. You will find him very upset about a destructive and hostile bunny-like creature called a Wolpertinger that's currently ransacking the upper floor of his home. In your conversations with him, he'll cover the basic points of summoning, teach you about familiars, and show you how to create a spirit wolf pouch and scroll, as he is currently wolf pretender sitting and unable to perform the task himself. Pickup Sticks is afraid if he leaves the room he's in, the naughty little wolf pretender will find its way downstairs and invite more of its buddies over for a house party. This is where you, the daring adventurer that you are, come in. He'll ask you to gather some items you'll need to summon a spirit wolf to take care of his little bunny problem, and later on we'll give you a few of the items you'll need for summoning. These include pouches, spirit shards, and a few hundred gold charms to help you on your way. Once you have the items he asks you to gather, you can create a spirit wolf pouch in his basement. Besides Pickup Stick's basement, there are summoning obelisks and supply shops located all over RuneScape. Creating familiar pouches are by far the fastest XP you can gain, provided you have the charms to make them. Simply take the items required for the familiar pouch to a summoning obelisk as you did during the quest. To make the scrolls, take your pouches to any hunter obelisk, click on the tab on the top left to toggle to the scroll making window, right click on the scroll you'd like to create, and transform all. The scrolls contain the special attack for the familiar you've made them from. They can only be used once and you will gain a small amount of XP from making them, as well as using them during battle. You can store these scrolls in antlers, lizard skulls, and feather headdresses to be randomly activated if you are attacked while you have your familiar summoned. They will carry 5, 10, and 15 scrolls respectively. The first two you can purchase from summoning shops. The feather headdress you can craft yourself from feathers and a quaff. We recommend you gather around 100 raw chickens and spider carcasses to begin your training. You can easily raise up to level 16 to 18 summoning with these supplies and the gold charms from pickup sticks. Raw chickens are hot items at the moment. If you're having trouble buying them, we recommend you try the farm on Entrana for fast killing or the chicken coop in Lumbridge. Spiders spawn on Karamja Island north of Taibawani Village near the Harpy Bug Swarms and to the northwest of Shiloh Village. You do not gain summoning XP by simply fighting with your familiar you must use their special scrolls to gain summoning XP. This will use your familiar's special move points to do so. The timer on the right side of the familiar menu is how much longer your creature will stay with you. This time can be extended at the cost of your summoning points, which you can recharge. As you progress in summoning, various creatures now wish to befriend you. These pets are similar to cats. You must feed them and pay them attention. They will not assist you in your skills. Visit one of the two pet shops around RuneScape if you'd like a new pet. The first is in Taverly, south of the house where you started the Wolf Whistle quest, and the other is in Unil, between the Magic Guild and the player-owned house portal. 
In your training, you're going to require lots of summoning charms. They come in four colors, gold, green, crimson, and blue. You'll need different charms for different familiars, so it's best to have an assortment. Here's a small list compiled by the Dante800.com team of monsters known to drop charms and monsters we have tested that do not drop charms. Remember that Jagex has planned a two-part release for summoning. If you look at your skill guide, you'll notice many slots are marked as reserved and will remain so until mid-February. We will be providing you more guides as our team progresses with the skill. That's it for this edition. Thanks for watching and listening. This is the voice of RuneScape, and I'll catch you on the next guide.